hi guys welcome back today we will start our lesson 5 in next two to two, three uh, lectures we will talk about uh, uh, different type of loops available in Pascal language so in a simple language if I will tell you what is loop loop is uh, a type of uh, instruction which we want to uh, use it again and again until the condition is met okay so this is uh, this is the uh, simplest definition of the loop okay so while uh, the, the first loop which are, we are going to use is a while loop okay and we are going to uh, okay so first time mostly what we in previous lecture we see how we can get the value from the text editor okay but first time we will see how we can set a value to the text editor okay let's get started okay this is i put three button these, these are empty okay so um, let me go to the so so these are three button okay so first what we will do it we will we will set a byte okay so let's start it first we will create a variable i which is integer and so we will say i is equal to we will attach an address hex address okay zero zero and then we will say so here the loop start while i is less than 10 the, so what we saying we saying start from 00, zero okay and uh, reach up to 10 okay and do this begin same and okay so here our loop is finished okay so between this loop we need to define what we want to do it so this this instruction will run from address 00, zero to address 10 okay but we need to tell him uh, here we need to define what this instruction do okay so let's say we want to set byte hex edit okay and this need two parameters first is offset and second is value so what we will do it uh, so of our offset is i the second value we need to provide a value what type of value we want to write it so we will say uh, i plus one okay so okay so this is our uh, instruction okay but no if uh, you uh, you see this one right now the value of i is zero so if i not set a counter this loop will only run one time or it in other word it will be in indefinite loops be, because it will never finish okay so because uh, the value it always becomes zero zero and it will again and again will run okay so we don't want to do that so what we will do it we will say i is equal to i so what we are to, do, doing it we say whatever the value of i we are putting in the i plus we adding one okay and know this one see here we only giving uh, the value to write inside the text editor here we not assign it but here we assign this is assigned assignment uh, uh, so here i is already zero so when it will add one add so it will uh, address will be one so this will be it will be run up to 10 okay um, okay let's start i want to show you one thing okay so okay so this is our loop okay even i press but nothing happened here why because so whenever you uh, write anything in the text editor you need to add this command okay it called refresh hex edit so whatever we write it we want it to show so this is very important so whatever we write it we want to refresh our text editor where we write the hex value so it the changes should be appear to us let's start now and you see it started from here to here okay so let's uh, do the other 
while loop so the next one is it to uh, let's copy this one same okay and no but this one instead of uh, byte we will set uh, uh, let's say word okay so word is consist of two bytes okay mm, let's uh, give the okay here i give the address okay uh, but here i am giving uh, uh, now value okay numbers so i want third from 32 to to 64 okay and uh, let's say i want to write it okay so, so here i want to tell you right now this word hex required more parameters how i can check that one if i press control shift bar space uh, space bar so this will so first is uh, offset which we give it i the second is value which is uh, we didn't provide it because this is only a byte okay so we need to provide a value okay so let's say this time we provide it um, FFDD, let's say, okay. And center, uh, the third parameter is swipe, swap by data. It means we want to write it d d DD, then FF, or we write want to write it FF, then DD, the way we write it here. So we will say true, we want it same. The way we provided, we want to write it same. So again i plus 1 because this must need to provide otherwise this loop will become indefinite loop it will never stop it okay so so our loop is ready let's test this one this is set byte the byte is written here no set uh, uh, word okay um, but why it's only write ff instead it should need to write ffd as only written here but all other is missed uh, let's see what we miss here the reason it's uh, only show uh, fff because here we want uh, give address one incremental instead of two because we need to provide it we want it uh, one byte right and then next byte right because what this is doing it's again and again writing only fff because we didn't jump to the second byte let's check it again okay so you see f d d f d d d okay and this is our first set byte and this is while loop set word okay let's go to our third loop which is to set our d word okay d word consists of four byte or two words okay so same uh, let's change the address let's say 62 and let's do this one to 94 and uh, instead of word we will say d word okay and if we again press control shift space bar it will tell what exactly it needed so first it need offset integer and then he need value that is so the value type is you see this time is cardinal okay instead of d word so which is consist of four byte okay so uh, you see here if when we press here it's save word but when we press here it's cardinal okay so let's say f d d and we will say then a a and one two let's say so this is our become two byte okay and no don't forget it this time it will be uh, let's say uh, first we will uh, write only uh, four okay and then uh, let's run this way first uh, you see this one it's a, a, a 
it's work exactly as we needed but instead it's uh, it's first recorded ff dd then 12 then a uh, so let's reverse the swap order and see how it's working so let's do it false and see how it's Uh, you know you see did it's changed the uh, order okay means f is was first then the d was the second then the a then 12 but no it's changed the order so keep it true and uh, okay so let's put it here let's say 10 okay and let's see how it's work now and now you see so ffdd and it's right so it's 1 2 3 4 then 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is we means we give it a space we didn't let's say if we don't want to write it here so we give it same again four byte and six byte extra it's leave it okay and then you see this is exactly what we uh, means uh, instructed our program to do it you see we put so this way we can write a loop uh, this loop can be uh, you can write it anywhere and uh, you can the way you want it and inside one loop you can write multiple loop and we will do a demonstration in later videos okay thank you so much guys and i will see you in the next video